Hi friends, I'm Malcolm. A lot of you might be taking your PT exam soon and today I'm going to talk about your exam day state of mind and preparation. It's very easy to get confused. It's very easy to get panicked, especially if you're taking PT for your first time. There could be a lot of unexpected pressures, maybe which you are putting on yourself or maybe others are. The most important thing to remember is it's okay. It is just a test. Even if you don't get your desired score, it's okay. You can try again. Whatever somebody tells you, don't get pressurized. Be relaxed. Be confident. Number two, don't forget to have a good night's sleep. Rest well before your exam. If you don't rest enough, it is not going to be of any help. Number three, one day before your exam, keep your passport aside. The only document which you need to carry to your test center is your passport. Nothing else is required to be taken by you. If you forget your passport, you cannot take the test. Number four, try to reach around 30 minutes before your test time to your test center. If possible, visit the test center one or two days before your actual exam so that you know the estimated travel time and you also know the traffic conditions. Number five, don't talk to anyone outside your test center. <clears throat> there could be some people who might be taking PT for their third time or fourth time, for example, and you don't need their unnecessary opi opinions before your final exam. So make sure you don't discuss anything. Be calm, be relaxed. Another thing, during the test, if there is any sort of technical issue or disturbance, make sure you wave your hand and call the supervisor immediately and lodge a complaint. Make sure that after the test ends, you go back to the supervisor and lodge an official complaint and they will have to give you a complaint or an incident ID. With that, you can apply for an investigation if things don't go in your favor when your result comes out. Also, do drink water before your test starts. You need to be energetic and you need to have your throat and your voice smooth and clear. So it's very important to be properly hydrated. Lastly, during the test, there could be a lot of disturbance. Don't get distracted. Make sure that when you do your practice at home, especially your speaking practice, you do it in a disturbing environment so that your brain gets used to it. Otherwise, you might get confused and flustered in the real exam. I think I've covered most of the important tips which you need to keep on mind on your exam day. I wish you the best. If you like the video, make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comments section. I'm Malcolm. Thank you very much. Thank you.